Hi there, and thank you for tuning in to the JIT Company's YouTube channel, the channel for all things related to lean, just-in-time manufacturing. My name is Rob van Stekelenborg, and our mission at the JIT Company is to help you create and sustain flow in your supply chain. In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate our changeover, CO, and EPI application. EPI stands for every part, every interval. And the EPI interval is a key indicator of a company's progress towards flow. If you want to learn more about how to measure flow, I suggest you check out our blog post series on perfect flow on our website. I've put the links in the description below. The EPI interval of a product is the average time between two lots of the same item. Let's say we've produced item A three days ago, and today will be the first time that we will be producing it again. Then its interval is said to have been three days. Just think of this as like a dam in a river. The more often we open the dam, the smaller the amount of water that will flow, and the less of a lake or reservoir we will have in front of that dam. Well, it's the same in a production system. The more often we produce a certain item, the smaller lot sizes will be, the less inventory we will have, the less space we will need, and the more reactive and flexible our production system will be. Our smaller our EPI, how more flow in our value stream. So EPI is a great indicator to track your progress towards flow. I often wished companies would show a machine's EPI instead of their OEE, to be honest. But back now to the CO EPI application. This is a tool I have used often and that I have upgraded to a simple yet powerful application. It allows you to track a machine's EPI and the EPI of the items or product families you are running on it. And when I say machine, this could just as well be a production line, a cell or any other piece of equipment in your value stream. But let's not waste more words, let's go through a quick demonstration of the tool. And by the way, if you like our stuff, please subscribe to our channel to not miss out any future videos. So when you download the application from our shop, you will get a zip file with the application and a brief manual. And after receiving your activation key, you should be ready to go. Now let's fire up the application. Now the first thing that you will be asked by the application is whether or not you want to start with, the, uh, with an original workbook or choose a certain save. This last thing means that you could open up a previously saved uh, report, for instance. But here, of course, we will start with an original workbook, meaning an empty workbook. Now, after you fired up the application, uh, the first thing that it will open up with is a work standard for the tool. This work standard gives a clear and visual instruction on how to use the application in a TWI based fashion for those that are familiar with it. And if not, I will put a link below to read more about training within industry or TWI. Now, familiarize yourself with the steps to be able to properly use the tool, but anyway, I think it's not that difficult. As you will see, uh, it's quite self-explanatory. Now to the left of the work standard sheet, by the way, you will find the version and release control, uh, but we will go to the right of it, the hard copy template. Uh, uh, this is a template that you could print uh, to get a hard copy data input template that you can put on or put close to the machine that you want to track. In this way, the operators or team leaders can capture changeovers as they happen. And the data and the sheet could also possibly be discussed during your Gamba walks. Now, you enter here on top, you enter the current reporting month. On the upper right hand side, you enter the machine identification. On the left hand side, you can put all the items, products or product families, depending upon the changeover significance uh, there is on this machine. And at the top row, you will put the working days. 
Now, every time you change over to a product or product category on a certain workday, in this cell, you can put the change over time from good part to good part, of course. And that's all there is to it. Now, when you arrive at the end of the month and you want to create an insightful report of it, uh, what you need to do is to enter this data into the data input cell, assuming, of course, that you have hard copy data and you enter the reporting month, let's say June here, and the machine, machine ABC. And now for demonstration purposes and to not waste too much time in doing all kinds of manual entry, I have prepared a small example that you can see here with 31 days, working days of changeovers for 10 products that I will copy into the worksheet. Let's copy the products as well in the product column. And this is all there is to it. So all you now need to do to get your report is to click the run button and you will get two dashboards. One more data oriented with the data that you just entered and all kinds of statistics by day and by item or item category and a more visually oriented chart dashboard, which we'll go into uh, a little bit more in detail. So what do you see here in the charge dashboard? At the top of the dashboard, you can see the development over time for this machine. So you can see the number of changeovers over time, the overall changeover time spent per day, and the average minimum and maximum changeover time by day. So this is the data for the overall machine or cell or production line. So in this example, you can quickly see that you have done in total 67 changeovers, on average 2.2 per day. You spend a total of almost 49 hours of this machine's capacity on changeovers with an average of 95 minutes per day. And each changeover took on average 44 minutes. And you can see you have a few outliers here of 65 minutes. And those details you can, of course, still look up in your uh, data dashboard. Now, if you scroll down to the lower half of this dashboard, here you have the number of changeovers by item or product family, depending upon your input, the time spent on changeovers for each item, the average changeover time per item, and interesting, of course, is the EPI for each item and the EPI for the overall equipment during the whole month. So in this case, the overall EPI of this equipment was 4.6 days. So on average, we produced every part on this machine every 4.6 days. Now, of course, this report helps you in quickly identifying interesting areas uh, and the highest and lowest numbers, uh, the good and the bad. Uh, numbers, so to say, are indicated visually. So, for instance, in this example, you can quickly see that item B has the shortest EPI interval of only 3.4 days, uh, but uh, overall we spent the most time on changing over to item B. Yeah, nine times 39 minutes, giving 350 minutes. So, despite its lowest average change over time, it's still worthwhile reducing it because we changed so much over to it. So on the other hand, what we see is that, for instance, item G here, we only have changed over to item G four times, giving it an EPI of 7.8 days. Uh, it's lowest in terms of total change over time, so maybe we should change over uh, some more often to this item, but uh, clearly it has the longest average change over time. So maybe we should do something about this one then. So as you can see, with the push of a button, you can create an insightful dashboard based upon your changeover data. And these insights can then help you in discussing the right courses of actions towards lower EPI intervals and more flow 
in your facility. Now, the application also comes with a general brief manual describing downloading, installation and activation uh, process, how to load and save your analysis, um, as I mentioned before, and uh, some data definitions to make sure that it runs correctly. But as you have seen, it is uh, quite straightforward. Now, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and hope you found it useful. Please let us know in the comments. Now, if you would like to know more about the JIT company, please do visit our website at thejitcompany.com for more. And here you will also be able to find the application that we have demonstrated in this short video. And you can download a free trial version if you wish. I will put the exact link in the video description below. Now, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments and I would very much appreciate if you would like this video or subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you back then in one of our next videos. Thank you and goodbye.